Gypsy Man, and today we're going to talk about recoil springs. As you see here, and we're going to weigh them, and uh, I can tell you from uh, from firing the, the gun if they felt any different to me. Okay, I made a video about how to install one onto a, onto a rod that's playing without the spring. Uh, right here is the OEM double captured 17 pound spring that comes in my Glock 34, which is my competition gun. Um, I only change the springs in my competition gun. I won't change them in my EDC uh, guns because uh, you know I just want the reliability to be there no matter what. With that said, what I have here is a 15 uh, pound spring on the uh, interchangeable rod that I have here. Now, the spring that I took out, and let me get to why I changed them out. I want to see if I can do something to soften the recoil, of course, the return and of the slide and the slide coming back when during recoil. So this spring right here, which is the OEM spring, it weighs 20 grams, all right? And the spring, the aftermarket recoil spring, which is a, a single spring, it doesn't have the double capture, as you can see, uh, is a little heavier. It's on a stainless steel rod, guide rod, and it is 32.3. So you gain a little bit of weight up front and you can actually feel that it's more weight. It, it, it's heavier than the OEM spring. So you get a little bit of weight up front, which every little bit counts and it helps with uh, uh, bringing the gun down or either keeping the gun from going up as high during recoil. We're supposed to give you faster fire um, follow up shots. Now I have this in my 34 and it will remain in my 34, but I did go through some testing. I tested this, uh, compared it to a 13 pound spring. Uh, the 13 pound spring in my Glock 34 Gen 5, you can actually feel that the gun during recoil was, it felt like it was hitting a wall on the way back. And up front when it returned, you know the return was fine the gun functioned fine and that was one of my uh, my concerns was if my gun would go into battery of course it went in the battery when i installed the springs so i figured it would work and it did the glock worked with the 13 pound spring um but what i felt was it was as it was coming back during recoil it was it felt like it was slamming back a little harder and then it'll go forward fine and i get my follow-up shots uh, and then I will go back and forth between 13 pound spring and the 17 pound spring. The 17 pound spring felt better, even though when the gun comes back to return, it, to be honest with you, it felt real balanced. It didn't really feel like it was coming back too fast and making the, the gun dip down any further. So it felt pretty good, but I knew I wanted to lighten it up. I just, and that let me know that I can't use a 13 pound spring to lighten it up. So I said, let me try the 15 pound spring. Uh, the 15 pound spring, it solved the problem of the gun coming, slamming, feeling like it was slamming back into my hand. It solved that problem and it gives me, I think the best of both worlds of the return, it's off the return. So, and it runs great and uh, no, no hiccups, no, uh, no, 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 no stove pipes, uh, no misfires or anything like that. Go, everything goes in the battery really well. And I didn't have a problem with that. And the way you, you test if the spring is going to go in the battery is you just bring this out, take it out of battery and it should go back into battery just like so. You just take it right out and let it go. Just take it out and see if it's gonna come right. Just take it just out and the gun should return. Now, if it doesn't and it stays back like that, the spring is not, it's not meant to be in your gun. Take the spring out, put a heavier spring in. But as long as you get that, 
Once you install it, you're good to go. And this Glock, my Glock, fired well. Other Glocks may do something different, I don't know, but mine fired well. So I like the 15 pound spring. You can feel the difference when you rack it. I'm not one of these front racker people, so I rack from the back and it felt pretty good. But for testing purposes, I'm gonna rack from the front. And you can feel the difference. The 13 pound spring did feel better and was easier to rack. Rack the gun, but the 15 pound is fine. 70 pound, 17 pound, I keep it in my bag just in case the 15 goes down, I could throw in the 17, no problem. And I could, if I wanted to, use a 17 pound uh, spring on a on a guide rod, just have a single spring. Some people say they can feel the difference. To be honest with you, I cannot. Um, and I'm, I have a very sensitive uh, hand when it comes to things like that, and I can't feel the difference. Uh, this works great, nothing's wrong with it. I'll keep it in my bag just in case something happens, but it's the 15 pound spring for me, and it works good. And um, the guide rod is good, stainless steel, it's not loud, you know, it just comes back like normal. I don't hear shrieking or anything like that. I keep my oil too. But uh, just a quick video about recoil springs. Don't be scared to try it. I mean, as long as your gun is functioning, you'll be good to go. Any little, every little bit counts with the uh, competition gun. So whatever edge you can get, and a cheap edge at that, probably less than 30 bucks to have that changed out with multiple springs. So it's Gypsy Man, and I'm out.